a tier 8 battleship and everyone's favorite darling of World of Warships. Pretty much everyone who plays World of Warships loves North Carolina, from armchair admirals to weeds. Because of this, a lot of potatoes play her, making her stats very low. This is because people use the North Carolina ineffectively. People keep trying to YOLO rush or camp in the back, when in fact, she is a mid-range fighter, with bullshit good guns, good concealment, and strong AA. The North Carolina has the best guns at its tier. When compared with her peers, the Armagi has more guns, the Rich Elu has all forward facing guns, and the Roma gets faster shell speed. I'm not even going to talk about the Tirpitz and Bismarck, as both ships have terrible guns, that are also few in number and small. However, the North Carolina guns are the best out of the bunch, because of one major reason, Sigma. You get a bullshit accurate 2.0 Sigma coupled with an American dispersion model, meaning your shell grouping will be tight and less prone to over penetrating. This means that you can pretty much meme on any bloke who tries to attack you from under 16 kilometers. Potatoes will complain that the North Carolina has a slow shell speed and therefore cannot hit enemy ships, but this is actually a big advantage over her peers for two reasons. First, this keeps you from over penetrating your shots, as now you will be able to hit citadels more often due to plunging fire and a slower shell speed in general. Next, this allows you to shoot over islands. Just make sure that you're the one doing the memeing, and not the one being spammed. And then we come to talk about its concealment, which is based on some historical event where the North Carolina class snuck up on a bunch of enemy ships during a night battle. Despite this, wannabe brawlers will charge up to the front line and die like an idiot. Unless you want to contribute to the world of battleships population of stereotypical retards, you stay away from being a frontline tank. Textbook plebeians will tell you to soak damage, but in actuality you only have 32mm of bow armor, meaning in the HEEE meta you will get fucked. In addition, you have a weak belt, meaning that any attempts to brawl will lead to you dying quickly. This ship is not a brawler, and if you wanted to play the North Carolina like one you should have bought the Massachusetts instead. You are not a retard. You are a thinking man. So you use its bullshit 11.8 km concealment to get close to enemy targets and one-shot them. Running concealment means you net more damage and one-shots, which leads to winning the game. Winning games with the North Carolina means using your concealment and the element of surprise to win gunfights, not relying on armor and tankiness. The most well-known trait of the North Carolina is its AA, and for good reason. This is pretty much the only thing weeds, historians, and unicums can agree on. It has more than 300 aircraft DPS that can fuck over any tier 6 or 7 carrier. However, it will not save you from a tier 8 or higher carrier, so don't try to protect your allies from a full midway strike package. Its AA is so good that it is a top tier PvP ship I mean it is often used in carrier divisions. Personally, I do not recommend this, as a same tier carrier could mess your ship up very quickly, and a lower tiered carrier is division anchoring and therefore cancer. Can we just fix carrier already? I mean seriously even the CV rework is stupid and even more binary than the current system. And finally, the North Carolina's maneuverability. Although most players believe that it's a sluggish beast, it is actually quite mobile, with a 28 knot top speed. For its range, that it should fight at, the North Carolina is perfectly capable of moving at a decent pace. The North Carolina is an anti-everything ship, with good guns for all occasions. If you get lucky, you can even be VAP enemy destroyers. Just try not to eat too many torpedoes.
terms of captain skills and equipment, there are a few choices. For all captain builds, start with priority target, adrenaline rush, superintendent, and concealment expert. Then you can choose whether to build towards AA with basic and advanced firing training, or towards survivability with fire prevention and basics of survivability. Next, for equipment you want main battery modification 1 or damage control modification 0 for extra sweet 28 seconds damage control against fires, damage control modification 1, AA guns modification 1 for extra removal of sky cancer, steering gears modification 2, and concealment module 1. If you take any of the secondary skills, don't forget to take target acquisition modification 1, just to show how much of an edgy off meta player you are. Remember to use premium consumables as well. I personally use Spotter for the animated viewpoint and spotting abilities. This is the correct way to play the North Carolina and all battleships for that matter. Now go out there and wreck some puny scrubs who still believe that battleships are frontline tanks. <laughs>